Okay, hi. Um, I'm going to now use this example to refresh, okay, and to revise with you how to conduct um, and to do calculations for correlation regression on your GDC. Okay, so here is one set of data that shown here. X and Y have this one, two, three, four. Y is four, six, nine, twelve. Okay, so what we do first is to actually key this into a GDC. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my GDC. And I'm going to select the list and spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm going to put in my values of x, one, two, three, and four. Okay, and for my values of y, well, they are four, six, nine, and twelve. Okay, so four, six, nine, and twelve. Okay, like this. Okay, so four, six, nine, and twelve. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upwards to the top of the uh, value here, and I'm going to call this x. I'm going to call this Y, okay? Now, why do I do that? So that later on when I need to calculate things, right, it's easier for me, okay, to actually recall from here, X and Y. Okay, so, um, uh, next, find the mean of X and the mean of Y, okay? So, well, to do that, I need to use uh, two VAR stats, okay? So, what I go to do is I go to Menu, Statistics, Stat Calculations, two VAR stats, not that yet. Stats, Stat Calculations, two Variable Statistics. Okay, X list, and here's where, okay, that labeling just now was helpful because if I click here, okay, to the right, I can actually scroll down and select X as my X list. Y as my Y list, okay? First result column, I leave it in D, all right, then I can see. Well, from GDC, X bar is 2.5, okay? Y bar is 7.75, okay? Straight away, okay? That's the only way to find the mean of X and mean of Y, straight away. Okay, next part, find the variance of X and the variance of Y, okay? Now, you can actually find that from the same place. So, where is that? Well, okay, so uh, here, there's actually this number over here, 1.118. Okay, this is the standard deviation of X. So, to find the variance of X, you take this number and you square it. Okay, uh, please don't pick this number, okay? 1.29, this number is not correct. This number is what we call the unbiased estimation of the population variance of X. Okay, that is not the same as the variance of X here in this case, the sample variance. Okay, they're actually two different things okay, all together. So, pick this 1.11, okay, square. Okay, similarly for variance of Y, you just need to scroll down, look for sigma Y, and then here it is, 3.03, .03, okay, then you square that number. Okay, next part, all right. Find the product moment correlation coefficient R, okay, of X and Y. So, we can go down and we can see here the number is 0 0.995, okay. 0.995, so that's the value. Okay, so you can find that from two variable stats. Okay, um, it's not in the example, but it's good actually to make sure you have a sketch of the scatter plot. Okay, because you know, as we have seen in class, sometimes the value of R can be nice, you know, like very near to one. Okay, seems to have strong positive correlation. All right, however, that might actually not be the case, and so it's a very good idea to get the scatter plot out. Okay, so how do you do that? Once again, what you can do is you can go to menu. Okay, on or the on button rather. Okay, select this pink color thing, okay, called data statistics. Okay, and then you go to the bottom, click on it, select X here. Okay, click on here, select Y, and then the scatter plot will appear. Okay, now in this particular example, there are only four numbers. Okay, it's a not very interesting. Okay, but if you have more numbers, you actually can see more trends. Okay, and this is actually the most important diagram. Okay, because if the scatter plot doesn't show you a linear correlation, then there's no point in actually doing any calculations. For linear correlation okay so thankfully there is a strong linear correlation from the scatter plot okay so an r being 0 0.99 something actually further reinforces that next question find the regression line of y on x okay so here take note y on x means y is the dependent variable x is the independent variable okay you trust x you want to predict y okay from here so how do i do that well what i do is i can go back to here go back to my recent spreadsheet Go to menu, statistics, okay, uh, stat calculations. This time I go to linear regression. Okay, now so I can go to either one mx plus b or a plus bx. Okay, I'm going to choose mx plus b. Okay, x list once again choose x, y list choose y. Okay, select all of this, leave it alone, press enter. Okay, and then you can go to the column which you need. Where are my results? Oh, sorry, it's because I scrolled down. Okay, so if I scroll back up, I can see here. Okay, M is 2.7, B is 1. So, Y is actually 2.7X plus 1. Okay, now, 
This linear regression expression can also give you the value of R, 0 0.995, okay? Now, so unless you are told to find the mean of X, mean of Y, variance, average of Y, actually you can skip this step for the two VAR steps, you can go straight to linear regression, okay? Uh, please take note though, the product co Roman correlation coefficient is R, not R square, okay? All right, so it's not R square, it's actually R. So 0 0.991, the value of R square is not the product moment correlation coefficient. Okay, that's something else. All right, next part. Find the regression line of X on Y. Okay, so here X is the dependent variable, Y is the independent variable. Okay, now, so you don't actually have to do anything different. Okay, so what you can do is you actually can use the same set of data. And this is also, once again, why labeling it X and Y was very helpful. Okay. So what I can do is I'm going to menu, statistics, same thing, okay, go and choose linear regression, mx plus b. This time round, I will put my x list as y, okay, and my y list as x, okay. Because, well, what the GDC actually means by x list is these are the independent variables, y is the dependent variables, okay. So here, because I'm supposed to find the x on y list, so I actually will give y, the list of y values as the depend, as the independent values and so that's why it's called the x list over here. Okay, and similarly, alright, since the x values here, alright, the values of x, 1, 2, 3, 4, are the dependent values, okay, I will call it my y list. Okay, so first result column, let's put it at column, I don't know, uh, k, alright, so that you can go far, far away, alright, and here you can see that, okay, the value is Okay, mx plus b, okay, this is m is 0 0.367, b is negative 0 0.346, okay. Uh, just do take note that the equation is actually x equals to my plus b, alright. So here, your answer, okay, will actually be x equals to 0 0.367y plus, uh, minus rather, 0 0.346, okay. Right, so, and not 0 0.367x plus minus 0 0.346. Okay, so that's a little subtle difference. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you.